Greg Udelhofen with 4constructionpros.com. I'm at the World of Asphalt with uh, Travis Caldwell, and he's the uh, marketing and communications coordinator for Carlson Paving Products. We're here to talk about the new uh, commercial grade CP752 paver, and a really unique aspect of that is the, the material transfer uh, conveyors in the hopper. Why don't you talk about that and tell us what kind of changes you made to improve the, that material transferring system? I'd be happy to. So this year's model, uh, we have been able to go down to the frame level, redesign this machine, so that way we can offer now two options for the material conveyors. Okay. You can have what was in it, the high flow material conveyor, which is a patented design, or we have now gone with the standard chain and slat system that you see on most papers in this class. Mm -hmm. But the biggest difference in going to this year's model is that we have eliminated the age-old problem of the hydraulic raising hopper that would require daily clean-out. Okay. Instead, what we have done is with this new frame design, we're able to put the chain and slats in there like any other wide conveyor paver, but eliminate the daily under hopper clean out. Okay. And now what we're telling customers is that every 500 hours or every oil change that they do an undercarriage inspection. If there's any material buildup, they clean it out. So rather than daily, we're doing every 500 hours for an inspection. Really, that's quite an improvement. A lot, a lot of uh, time saving on, on the cruise time. It is, and after a nine, 10 hour day, you know, on the hot job site, that's something that contractors don't want to do, but right. they have to. With our machine, that end of day cleanup is simplified, and the crews are a lot happier. But another big impact is on your return on investment and life cycle of the machine. Okay. By reducing that need of daily under hopper clean out, you're having longer life cycle on your conveyors, on your floor plates, and on your whole system, which means that you're gonna be able to run this machine a lot longer without having to replace vital components for your paving applications. Okay. And there were a couple of other things that were upgraded uh, in the design of this paver. and One has to do with the, the uh, controls? Uh, correct, yes, yeah, so we have now gone to all toggle switch controls on the CP752. Those controls are now more compact, so we're getting better visibility to our auger box mm -hmm. for closer maintenance of head of material. Uh, but with the system, it's very similar to our CP85. So we have commonality across our product lineup, okay. so customers can go from one machine to another without having to relearn the switches and the controls. Okay, and uh, is there anything else that we need to know about, about this particular paper? Uh, yes. Uh, with this paver, we have the EZC815 electrically heated screed. Okay. And Carlson, we're always known for our screeds. Right. And what we've done is we've taken our highway class technologies and our knowledge of the industry and built it into a commercial class package, which features a lot of those highway class innovations, including spring-loaded end gates, heated end gates, uh, berm functions. So we do have 18 and 12-inch berm uh, for those regions that require that drainage system for a seamless curb berm. And this, uh, the screed on this one is an 8 foot to 15 foot? Correct. Okay. Yep. Anything else that we need to know about the, the screed or the paper? No. Uh, you know, be sure to be on the lookout for this machine at a dealer lot near you, and they are available today. Okay, great. Thanks.